Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to another walking to work video. If you watched the last video, this one here is filmed right where the last one finished. I'm going to start there with a couple of trams and for this one I'm actually on the island that's in the middle of the road and the tram track so we'll get to see trams and cars and traffic and this it's just a bit of an experiment filming from here hopefully the traffic noise won't be too much oh they're cool look at that so yeah hopefully the traffic noise won't be too much but i'm just trying to get different angles of filming you know to see the illuminations there and on right now and we've got this great terrace here it's a quite a big terrace on the end we've got Parisian Hotel looking very highbrow in its slate grey and black look open right now next to that we've got the St James Hotel and then we've got the Rock Cliff two small places well small in comparison to the other hotels on the terrace because the entire rest of the whole terrace is taken up by the Tiffany's Hotel which is beautifully decked out in a nice colour of pink and white that looks nice. I really do like pink. And next to that, we have got the Claremont Hotel in mainly grey with white accents. But both look great. Very different. Claremont there and Tiffany's there. And We've got the sea and the prom there. There's all those windows in the front of these hotels. We're going to get an amazing view of the sea. And that is a really special thing to have if you don't live near the sea. Because I know there's some people who just live abroad or live in cities and they never get in the sea unless they come to a coastal town so for those folks the sea view is a really special view and that is the end of this terrace I think this is Pleasant Street what we're coming up to now the street on the right Oh, it is, yeah, there's a tram stop there, look, I was right. There it is. Pleasant Street. That's a really good name for a street, isn't it? Pleasant Street. Just imagine people, when they were initially naming the street, they'd have been like, what can we call this street? It's in a pleasant area. Why don't we just call it Pleasant Street? You can see the side of the Claremont there and on that side is Canton Hotel or is it Carlton? It's Carlton. I'm a little bit blind without my classes. Either way it's part of the Best Western franchise. Yeah I'm pretty sure it says Carlton. Yes it does, I can see the design there. It says the Carlton Hotel. There you go. Good view. You see more of these mermaid illuminations if you walk past. Do you know the time passes so fast? Before I know it, it's going to be illumination season again, and I'm going to have to be doing a promenade stroll from Stargate to Bispen, showing you all the lights for the years. I'm also going to do ride the lights. 
się. I think, you know, I'm gonna pass over. Just to here. Because I am aware of the traffic noise and I know I thought I was gonna stay in the middle, but I'm just aware of how noisy it probably is in the video. Pinasta Hotel, the Howard Hotel, Palm Beach Hotel, Blue Waters, Lancaster Holiday Apartments, 304, the Prom, private apartments, the Bromley, and then we've got Park House. And park houses you can see there from that sign to cabaret weekends and the hotel that takes up the entirety of the next block definitely requires no introductions because it's the world famous imperial hotel everybody's heard of the imperial And we're going to walk right past it and have a look at the magnificent frontage of it. For now, you can see the park house from the front one more time. But let us go past the Imperial. Very imposing, isn't it? It's actually a beautiful building. Wonder how many people are staying in there right now. Do you think it's full or not? Maybe not before the summer holidays. It's probably semi-full. I don't know. But I don't know whether families would stay in the Imperial. I mean, let me know if you've brought your family to stay in the Imperial, or would families want to stay? in apartments or guest houses close to the town centre I don't know maybe close to the town centre I'm not sure but either way we're here today and we get to take a look as we walk past about time we did a little swoop around and had a look at the sea because it is coming in so where is it now it's a lot closer you can see the lower prom there and the lowest prom just below that and there we can just about catch the end of north here Let's see. Yeah, we're going to go back now as we continue to walk past the Imperial. street there that runs along the side of the Imperial is Wilton Parade and you can see it there it's written on the tram stop so if you're staying in Blackpool you stay at the Imperial Hotel get a tram to Wilton Parade and the Imperial's there can't really get closer than that can you And soon, by Easter next year, you'll be able to get a tram from North Station to Wilton Parade. So you'll be able to get off the train at North Station, walk under the underpass, get a tram right next to the station and get off at the Imperial. How crabby is that? We're on the next block now. We've got the President Hotel. Next to that we have the Grand Hotel 
no sorry the strand hotel i don't know why i said grand the strand hotel and next to the strand on the corner we've got the famous rutland hotel of course the rutland didn't used to be on the corner because on the corner it used to be the ambassador and the ambassador got demolished it was actually an emergency demolition because it was apparently at imminent risk of falling down and i did get asked very recently for an update on the ambassador site and as you can see that's what it looks like now so there's pretty much nothing there there is a little car park just there in the forecourt as you can see but there's nothing that's the wall they built to protect the rutland after they pulled the ambassador down but that land is just closed off and nothing so yeah that is an ambassador site update from the noisy traffic again I mean the site's not really called the ambassador anymore that's just the name of the former hotel that's done it but I really don't know what else to call it but yeah that folks is the end of this video and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video you know what to do like the video maybe leave a comment and maybe you can subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i will see you all very soon in the next one goodbye